Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, now we are going to introduce another attribute or another uh, parameter that defines a property of a triangle and that is altitude. Like how we spoke about median. Similarly, there is this is another concept of altitude. Now, what do we mean by altitude of a triangle? So, altitude is nothing but the height of a triangle. So, in, in literal, if you look at the literal meaning, altitude is nothing but height. Have you ever measured your height? Have you ever checked how tall you are? How do you do that? So maybe somewhat like this. This is how you measure your height to see how tall are you. Similarly, if I ask you to measure the height of a triangle, how would you do that? So just try to think of the same setup, just that you are being replaced with the triangle. So which part of the triangle gives you the height of the triangle? So looking at this picture, can you visualize what gives the height of the triangle? So basically when you look at this triangle, do you think that the length of any of the sides would be able to give the height? No. So which is, what is the height of the triangle? So when you measure the height of the triangle like this, this height defines the height of the triangle. And this height is determined by a line which is drawn perpendicular on a side of the triangle. Right? So this gives the height of a triangle. Now the interesting part here is that one triangle doesn't have just one altitude. That's because when you look at this triangle, not all the sides are equal, right? So many triangles have unequal sides. So when you look at the triangle from different perspectives, you feel that the height of the triangle also varies. Sounds confusing? Let's have a detailed look. So basically here on the screen, you see two different images. Now basically we are seeing the same triangle. So in both the images, you have the same triangle. It is just that you are seeing it from two different perspectives. So in the first case, you see that the height is smaller than in the second case. But we are talking about the same triangle. It is just that we have kind of rotated the triangle. So when you, let, let's call this triangle as A, B, C. Let's name this triangle as A, B, C. So when you look at its height, its height is and when you look at the second scenario where we have exactly the same triangle, even though you might feel that no, it, it seems to be a different one, but actually it is the same triangle. It is just that we have rotated it. We have rotated it in such a way that now we have point C here. We have point A here and point B is here. So basically we have just rotated it in the anti-clockwise direction and that's how it has become like this. Now when we try to measure the height of the triangle, keeping it in this pattern, then what do we see? The height has increased. So even though we are talking about the same triangle, we see that when we look at it from two different perspectives, we get two different heights or two different altitudes. So how do we define altitude of a triangle? So altitude is a line segment which is drawn from a vertex perpendicular to its opposite side. So that is how we define altitude of a triangle. What that actually means, let's say that you have a vertex A. So from A, you draw a line segment which is going to be perpendicular to the opposite side. So for vertex A, the opposite side is BC. And this is the line, let's call this AD. So AD is perpendicular to BC. So therefore AD defines the altitude. Similarly in this case, we are actually measuring the altitude from vertex C because this is how the uh, triangle is positioned right now. So from vertex C, you draw a perpendicular on the opposite side that is AB. So let's call this D. So in this case, CD is perpendicular on AB. Therefore, in this case, CD is the altitude of the triangle. Now you, you might ask that, okay, so if we have one triangle, so how many altitudes are possible? Now again, altitudes are line segments which are drawn from vertex. So how many vertices does a triangle have? 
a triangle has three vertices that means we can draw three such line segments perpendicular to their respective opposite sides therefore a total of three altitudes are possible for a particular triangle so even though altitude of a triangle is just like height of a triangle the way we talk about height of a person but in case of triangles since we have three different sides therefore a triangle can have three different heights based on from which vertex are we trying to measure the height of that triangle so this is the concept of altitude of a triangle so i hope the concept is clear now try to compare this altitude with the median that we had learnt before so as i was telling just now any triangle can have three altitudes so let us look at this triangle abc so the altitude from a would be this perpendicular drawn on bc similarly the altitude from b would be the perpendicular drawn on ac similarly the uh, the altitude from c would be the perpendicular drawn on ab so a triangle can have three altitudes thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you